What's good, y'all? Elvis here. So the first haircut tutorials I ever watched were 360 Jeezy's. So 360 Jeezy basically introduced me to Barber and Pharrell. Like, I credit him with originally teaching me how to cut hair. And I learned a stupid amount of information through tutorials. But now I don't watch tutorials anymore. And I think most barbers are in a place where they should stop watching tutorials too. So tutorials are a great way to introduce yourself to a new skill, but they only can go so far as far as teaching you how to do it. Tutorials are really other people showing you their process. And there's a lot of game to get from that, but you gain a lot more from developing your own process rather than trying to copy someone else's process, let alone just watching it. So y'all are probably familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. And I love Gary V. I love who I think he is. I don't know this man personally. He seemed like a great dude. I like his content. But me and my friends refer to his content as like hustle porn because it's all motivational, you know, get it out the mud, eat shit for how many years, you know, make to make your dreams come true, blah, 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 sacrifice. All for that, that's super necessary on this entrepreneurial journey, 100%. But we, but I consider it hustle porn because it's like, because in my opinion, this content doesn't have that much sustenance. It's like the difference between watching porn versus being in a sexual engagement. It's not that accurate of a representation. And honestly, motivation only gets you so far. Some people they listen almost exclusively to the hustle porn and and get pulled into the cult of self-improvement and entrepreneurship. And people really be acting like it's a cult. And I'm all for the grind mentality, but it's all about what you're grinding for. Like people would like people will compromise their integrity, break their back to make a few hundred dollars. Not to do anything meaningful with the money, but just to have the money. Whereas to me, that's backwards. I'm all about grinding for a specific result. I don't mind having to go make that money to do the thing that I want to do. But I can't, the thing I care about the most is that thing rather than the bread or the means of getting to it. And I look at tutorials like barber porn. After you learn the steps of how to do a fade, you can pick up tips and tricks from so-and-so and so-and-so, but how you really hone your skill is developing your own process for doing things. You can take pieces from here, here, and there, and then you know make it your own style. But at a certain point, if you know how to do a fade, you're not learning as much as you think just watching somebody do it differently. Sure, you might pick up a tip or trick here and there, but you picking up a trick or a tip from a video does not make you actually better in real life until you've applied the knowledge that you learned and made it your own and put it and incorporated it into your own arsenal. And on top of that, my personal beef with like haircut tutorials, like I've done a few. I have like a small playlist. I did a few, maybe like four. And I'm already tired of that shit. All these haircut tutorials are the same haircuts over and over again with different people getting the haircut and different people cutting their hair. And I feel like most people are giving redundant information in every tutorial they make. And most barber content creators are doing the exact same thing. I'm not complaining about being oversaturated, but I barely believe in oversaturation. Like how many brands of bread do you see in the store? Doesn't stop for people from making new brands of bread just because it's been done before. And similarly, doesn't mean it can't be done better or in your way specifically. Or you just do it your own style, your own flair. But also, since I've been getting hair for so long, at a certain point you realize that all haircuts are really the same elements, just organized differently. Like tapers and fades, regardless of the shape of the taper, regardless of how they fit the head, they're essentially the same thing, just tweaked more specific from client to client. So once you learn the fundamentals of how to cut hair, you're really just mixing and matching different elements to create new haircuts. But when you're at the stage of differentiating different haircuts and learning technique, I think it's beneficial to watch tutorials, but only if you're watching to absorb information, not watching to be entertained. I don't consider the information knowledge until it's applied. Like I remember being at barber school and when I first got there, there was people that had been there a few months before me, but have never picked up clippers before, before barber school. So I came in with like four years experience, like I've been cutting hair for real outside of school so you know i had so i had a lot of game to give people and you know they would ask me questions and one time my instructor wanted me to walk one of my classmates through a fade and keep in mind he's done fades before this dude watches tutorials every day and he was he was doing it i was trying to talk him through it like hey you know use use whatever technique in this area and he was just like oh oh can can you do it and i'm like bro how many tutorials have you watched You've seen, how many times have you seen this haircut be done? You know what it looks like, you know what to do. I guess that's one of the things that kind of bothers me about tutorials. People can watch a whole playlist full of tutorials and feel like, oh man, I'm, I'm learning so much, but not actually become any better as a barber. Just watching videos, reading books, just generally learning passively does not compare to getting practice and hands-on experience. Like somebody might've watched 10 times as many barber videos as me, 
10 times as many barber books, business books, all these things than me. But if they have no actual experience, they don't know more than me. The quality of knowledge is not the same. Someone could tell you something they read in a book, but versus them telling you about something they lived and experienced, someone with all the book smarts might be able to tell you a bunch of words and terms, but with the person with experience can give you expertise. They might not be able to tell you what this and that is specifically called, but they can clearly instruct you on how to get the result that you want. So it's not like I have anything against tutorials because they put so much value into my life, but the value you get from tutorials is what you make it. Because most of the tutorials I've watched kind of seem repetitive, but you know, people are constantly putting out tutorials day to day, week to week. And they all, but the ones I've seen all kind of seem like they're just giving the same generic game of this is how I cut hair. This is my process, seat cut motion, guidelines. You know what I'm saying? Like if you watch my Better Barber series, a few people have been commenting, letting me know that like most of the game I be given, of course it's from my personal experience, but it's a lot more nuanced and not as obvious game from what I've been told. So with tutorials, I felt like there was a gap in like the practical game people were getting. So I decided, well, yo, what can I do to fill that gap? So rather than having to remake other tutorials over and over again, cause fuck that, that does not seem fun. I decided to go ahead and make super tutorials that I would never have to remake. Started off as tutorials, but it low-key started turning into something of a course. So I'm calling it Better Barbering Crash Course. So I'll basically have super tutorial episodes on different aspects of haircuts. And I condense as much practical game as I possibly could for a super fake tutorial. But I plan on doing a similar thing with other aspects of the haircuts like uh, facial hair or lineups, stuff like that. But honestly, if someone wants a more specific game, bro, you're gonna have to either pull up or pay me. But bro, my super fake tutorial is like almost 30 minutes and that shit took me two weeks to edit. Pretty much like I was saying, stop watching haircut tutorials. Except for mine, of course. All right, that's all I got today. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like and subscribe if you got any value. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Cuss by Elvis. And I appreciate y'all again. Till next time, craft of a clout, I'm out.